In this video, I'm going to take you on a review on Casio FS and our ES Plus calculator. And after going through this video, you'll be able to understand the features of Casio FS and our ES Plus calculator and also be able to maximize it the cost of the long run with it. Be sure you stay with me to the end of this video because I'm going to expose a lot of things about it that will be very, very helpful for you in the course of your journey with it. Okay, let's begin. Now, I highly recommend this calculator to every science and engineering student because I have used this for quite a long time now and it has been interesting. Yes, it has been interesting. So this calculator to me is one of the best calculators for science and engineering students because there are a lot of functions in it that will help you solve some complicating problems in mathematics. Okay, so ensure you get this calculator if you haven't. I highly recommend it for you. The first thing you have to know about this calculator is to put your calculator in default mode. That's to restore it to default mode because there are some instances in which you'll be doing some calculations you might deviate from its default mode. Let's say for instance, if you want to solve problem on matrix, you press 6, it's now in matrix. Once you press, it's now in matrix. If you go back, it's now in math matrix. So it's no longer in default mode. The only way you can move it from this matrix mode is to just want to restore it to its default mode, to move from matrix mode to its default mode. The only way you can do is to press shift button 9 to an instruction. You want to clear all, you press 3, three times for all, then press record to press record to or AC key. Let me press record to again so it has been cleared. So that clearing signifies that you want to restore your calculator to default mode. So once you clear it, your calculator will automatically be restored to default mode. So every other thing. You have done with it will be wiped out it will not be reset will not be new again not that so that's how to put your calculator in default mode or to restore it to its default mode so having known that next thing you have to know is how to store a number let's say you want to store seven in this calculator so to do it first of all press seven number first then press shift this button i will see everyone look at it closely it's sto top of it stands for store press shift then I want to store it as an alphabet. You can store it as either A, B, C, D, E, F, X, and Y. But you want to store it as X since X is often used mathematics. So you press X. So once you do it, indicates here that 7 has stored as X in this calculator. Now to bring that this 7 you have stored as X, all you have to do is to press alpha and the alphabet X. Once you do it, press equal to so to display that X is representing 7 that means 7 is stored as x in this calculator now note that this 7 and stored as x cannot go out in this calculator the only way it will have to go out is when you clear it if you don't clear it it will not go out it will still remain there hope that is understood okay so let's check it out let's clear this calculator now shift button 9 for instruction hope by now you have learnt it how to do clearing so let's press f by x Again, as it's if seven come out, very equal to as you can see, seven didn't come out. We are having zero, that means seven has gone out. So the calculator is now in default mode. So far, I've talked about how to clear to put your calculator in default mode and how to store a number. Next thing you have to note is how to convert your value from let me see a fraction to a decimal number. And let me see when you have something like this this function is what i use for fractions five over eight now when you press equal to this is what you have now some students are usually confused at this point now all you have to do is to put your answer in a decimal place you don't want it to be in fraction all you have to do is to press sd so it will convert the fraction to a decimal. So whichever one you want to make use of, just yeah, use the fraction or the decimal. So this is how to put the fraction into a decimal number. So I mean, know that the next thing you have to know about this calculator is let's say the various 
the mode of this calculator will be various function as you can see this calculator can sub complex number if one sub complex number you have to do is press two it's not a complex mode now for more details on how to solve problems with very complex number check the algebra and the metric playlist channel you see a couple of videos i've put this for you guys on complex number with cancel calculator make sure you watch them and you will be glad you did that's a complex number let's go out of this board and go to number base so now number base if you also want to know how to solve problems with every number with the cancel calculator so you check the channel check for the playlist either in algebra or trigonometry yes algebra trigonometry you see the videos on how to solve problems with cancel calculator on number basis of binary numbers let's check under mode is actually applicable to matrix six is now facing max eight three by three matrix and all that so i have a comprehensive video on this so check the channel you check the matrix playlist you see it you check under mode vector it's only applicable to vector i've also done a nice job at it by producing a video on how to solve problem with the classic calculator with it so let's check the playlist of this video it seems that look at equations check the audio and the playlist of this channel you will see it option one and two are for significance equation whereas option three is for quadratic equation option four is for cubic equation so check the audio and the playlist we see i've done a nice job at it on how to solve problems involving this algebra using the classic calculator this move forward now let's check let's check what check equation statistics i also done a nice job on statistics check the playlist you will see it so another thing i have to note again is conversion let's clear this so go to conversion now you, if you want to convert values in the calculator you see have the first shift this but c o n v stands for conversion eight now once you get here when you get your calculator the cover of this calculator opening at the back you see constants from one to forty so each of those values represents something so let me just say which one should i use? let me first start saying it so you see 38 is to convert values from centigrade to Having hands and all that, so just check the cover of this calculator in the back. You see various constants from 1 to 14, what each represent. So, this is how you can do your conversion with this calcium calculator. Which other thing might be seen? Yes, how to solve calculus. Lastly, how to solve calculus. Very, very important. I'll solve calculus problems and um, integration and differentiation. This Function is for solving definite integral. They want to have upper and lower limit. Now, to solve indefinite integral, the ones don't have upper and lower limit. Check the calculus playlist of this video. I of this channel, I have done a nice job, an excellent job on it. How to solve problems involving the integration in class calculator. I ensure you learn it in the class you did. You save a lot of time in your exams. Also, the same is applicable to. Differentiation shift this button this is about the x to know more about it check the calculus playlist of this channel make sure you watch the videos on differentiation with the classic calculator i did a nice job at it as well so make sure you do them make sure you watch them and you'll be glad you did if it doesn't make me sense something that tell me to limit the function i also did a nice job there and the rest of them Hope I'm not missing any other thing to bring out let's say pi. Just press shift, look at pi, keep this button, pi come out and another. So this is the basic to bring out combination of permutation, press shift, division button and combination and come out of permutation, press shift this multiplication button to common permutation and the rest of them hope i'm not missing any other thing so guys this is it this is a comprehensive review on cancer fn standard one es plus calculator 
I hope you learned something very, very interesting. Now, ensure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't for more for details. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel regarding what I've learned in this review. If you seem to have any question or specific question to ask, please, please leave your question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give you a response. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to tell me how you feel about it and also to subscribe and comment thanks for watching